We have the battery and the controller out of the 315 Glion scooter. This is the way it sets inside of the frame. Um, I'll explain some of the wiring connections here. We have a blue, a green, and the yellow wire. Those connect to the wiring that runs down through the frame back to the mortar on your scooter. We have the main battery wiring, which is a red and a black wire with the burgundy connector, which connects only one way. Now there are times when you plug that in, you may get a spark. So be aware that you may get a spark. It'll be a one-time spark. We have the other red and black wire with a small red connector that goes up to the charging port on the neck of your scooter. We have three other wiring harness plug-ins and if you notice each one's a different size it will only plug into the one that corresponds to the size that we have. The other thing that you'll notice is on the connectors there is a little raised tab and there's a finger that hooks over that and locks in place so the connector cannot come apart. As an example, I'm going to show you the one with the four pins. You'll see here is the top little finger clip that we have to press down on to release it. And here's the clip on the top of the connector. They'll only plug in one way. You push it in until you hear it snap. And it's locked together. It can't pull apart. To remove it, you press down on that clip and give it a pull. There's one long zip tie. It holds everything kind of together when you put it into the frame. If you need to remove the controller, you can lift that zip tie up and the controller will come out. Then you'll disconnect all the wiring from the motor controller. To put it back in, we do just the opposite. and we reconnect the wires. We'll make sure and put our zip ties for pulling it out up here to the top. We have a Glion 215 dolly scooter that we're going to remove the nose cone from the front of it. What we need is a three millimeter Allen wrench. There are two screws one on this side and one on this side. The next thing we need to do is to pull the handle up, press on the button. Once we get the handle up, Everything should be free. We can reach up in here, grab a hold of it, and wiggle it. It may be tough to remove. You may have to cut along this front edge with the knife. Be careful not to cut too deep so you don't cut into the wires. There we have the nose cone removed from the scooter. This is a 215 dolly from Glion. We're going to check the fuse in the battery and the charger. After we get the nose cone off, if you look inside, you'll find a black zip tie. You can grab hold of that zip tie and pull, and it's going to pull really hard, but you can pull it. And as you start pulling it out, you'll notice that there is a feed wire that runs up through the neck here. And we want to just kind of pull that up and out of the way. Continue to pull the assembly out. And this is all the further that we have to pull it out in order to get to the fuses. You'll see a fuse here that has small diameter wires. 
That's the fuse that goes to the charger. We're going to take the fuse out and check it. Sometimes it can be tough. I'm going to get a pair of long nose pliers. Be careful not to squeeze too tight. After we get the fuse out, we can look at it to make sure that the link is not burnt. We want to make sure and put the cap back on so it's good and tight. That was the 5 amp fuse. We're going to check the main battery fuse. Notice it has the heavier wires. We'll pull the cap off of it. And it wants to be stubborn. And you can see it's a 30 amp fuse. We're going to take a look to make sure that our link is not burnt. We'll put it back in. Make sure our cap is closed good and tight. Then what we'll do is get ready to assemble it. We'll start things in and just kind of gradually fit things in. Get all the wires in there. We want to make sure that we get our wiring harness back into its holder here and we're ready to put the nose cone on. We're going to get ready to put the nose cone onto the scooter. One thing we have to watch is there's ears on the side of the cone. They have to fit inside of the outside of the frame. Press in on, the, on both sides back here so that them tabs go in place. Push it back. When we put the screws back in, you'll probably have to wiggle them because they go through the side, they go in through another hole and then into the thread of the opening. Now then to reseal our machine back up so we don't have any water leaks, we want to put caulking along the front here and it just needs to be a thin film so it will completely watertight. And press in on the handle button and slide our handle back in. 